Hey guys, so right here I have a bunch of parts I have been collecting over the past few months. Uh, there are actually linear stages. Uh, this one right here is going to be my C axis and it's mostly made out of steel with uh, linear rails. I think uh, probably 15 millimeter linear rails and a 12 millimeter ground ball screw. And it moves really smooth. Uh, what I like about it is that it's really solid. There ain't no slack, there ain't no movement. So that's gonna make a good C axis, I think. Uh, for the base, it's actually a piece I found and it seems to be made by NSK. It has a logo on the side right here and all the rails says NSK, same with the uh, uh, ground ball screws. Uh, I'm just not quite sure what the base is actually made of. It seems to be some type of cast, I, I would like to say cast granite maybe. Uh, if it's cast, uh, cast iron, I will imagine it's uh, magnetic and this this is actually no magnetic at all, only the, the linear rails. So I'm not quite sure what the bottom base is actually made of, but it's really heavy and it all moves really smooth. The way I'm gonna be building this CNC is gonna be out of aluminum extrusions since I actually got the tools to cut it and modify it if needed be. Uh, another thing I'm going to be doing is filling all these, the uh, extrusions with uh, epoxy granite uh, to give it some weight since uh, that might actually not give it much stiffness. The way I actually design the frame is actually right here in a piece of paper since I actually don't know how to draw the whole CNC in a 3D program. Uh, so right here is just a bunch of uh, drawings and mainly is to figure out some of the measurements needed for the frame. Um, same right here, just a little more measurements. But this frame is actually gonna be a little easier to, to make and for me to design on a piece of paper let's say since it's only gonna be needed to support all these pieces and I'm actually not gonna have to design and figure out all these uh, linear rail placements and support for uh, ball screws and all that if not I will probably suggest uh, designing it on a 3D program what I'm gonna be doing first is clean and remove all the grease and gunk out of the linear rails on these two pieces since this piece over here seems really clean and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to take this apart first I guess I'm gonna be removing the linear blocks and right here I have a piece of uh, plastic that retains the ball bearings but that this is actually from my uh, other CNC so I'm not quite sure if this it's actually gonna work with this linear rail block. Hopefully, I don't lose any ball bearings. And that's why I'm actually putting this uh, microfiber right here in case some of the ball bearings start to want to come off. Hopefully they land here and stay here and I don't end up losing any uh, ball bearings. So I'm gonna be trying that first right here. So, so no, this is actually not gonna be able, I'm not gonna be able to use this to remove the uh, linear blocks. So I'm just gonna remove them by hand. So at least nothing came off flying with that mineral spirit and like I said once I remove all the grease out of the linear blocks 
and clean all the rails just gonna finish up by applying new grease to all linear rails and ball screws Before I can actually build the frame on the other piece over here I had to make a, a few mounting holes to support the C-axis. Same try to make some holes to adapt this uh, spindle mount and probably make a new base for this over here but that will actually have to be for another video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.